Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John and I'm very excited because I just got a package in from Florida and it's the new Cal Kestis lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge. Let's take a look. So if you have any of the other uh, Galaxy's Edge lightsabers, uh, it comes in the same style box with the emblem and everything and the most annoying tape in the world to try to get off. So I'm just going to grab my uh, razor blade over here. Push this little button to get this bad boy open. Oh man, check that out. That is great. That is heavy. Holy moly. Man, when people said this thing was heavy, they mean, it's like, it's, it's, hold on a sec. All right, so if you have the Ray lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge, it's virtually the same. Like, this is a heavy lightsaber, and this pretty much matches it. take a peek underneath we've got the broken half of the lightsaber let's get this bad boy out now if any of you are a fan of the video game I love the video game this is actually one of my favorite lightsabers like ever there's Luke's lightsaber there's the Anakin original Luke lightsaber you know the Graflex one um, and then this is absolutely next on the list. I love this lightsaber. But looking at it, it does seem quite a bit fat around here, and I think that's because of just how their system works with the uh, the blades. You know, they gotta make the necks fatter for the blades to actually get in there, because they're all interchangeable. But this is, this is pretty darn solid. This is great. All right, now at the bottom here, there is an extension. I don't have two, but you can buy two of these and connect them uh, to make the double blade, uh, which I don't have. So, but it, it would kind of look, you know, something like that. And I'm sure you can find plenty of images online of that. But this is the coupling for it. So we're just gonna unscrew that because I am only going to use the one saber. Here's the battery port and everything in there. And this, let's see if we can get that in focus. This is the broken half, which is done really, really well. You, got, you see all the wires here. These are kind of rubbery, movable. They're not gonna hurt anything. This is also rubbery. I've actually seen a lot of other versions where people say this is kind of hard and very sharp. So I'm glad they kind of went with this more plasticky, rubberized version of the grip. It's actually weathered pretty well too. Did a pretty good job on that. I might actually go a little further and maybe put a little bit more mud and dirt around the, the edges here of the grip. But we'll see how that goes. But anyway, this will go right on in here. That was very, very top heavy. But this is great. It has the, uh, the clip for the belt buckle, which I might actually take off later. We got the buttons. Looks like the ignition button. All right, so what we're gonna do, because I really wanna hear this and I wanna see everything, we're gonna go grab a blade and get this bad boy turned on. All right, let me get some of these lights off so we can see everything here. Now, the Disney design has the, uh, the hilt with the blade that just kinda clicks in. And twist. So yeah, just like, you know, the typical uh, Galaxy's Edge Disney lightsabers, there's no smooth swing or anything. It sounds 
like they're trying to get a little bit better at it, just from a little bit of movement. We're getting some sound changes. But it's not... It's nothing compared to like a Neo Pixel Saber. So it clashes. Not too bad. And here's a sound. Hold the mic for you. Then turn off. So it kind of doesn't even strobe down. It just kind of like psh, switches right off. I would have to go back and check, but I do think that's accurate to how the saber turns off in the game. So I think a great addition to this, um, if you do play the video game or have played the video game, you know that you can get into some of the boards near some of the benches and stuff like that and change and customize your lightsaber. So it would have been good since these blades can change color to whatever um, hilt you put it into. So if you put it into a Luke hilt, it'll turn green. If you put it into the Graflex saber, it, it will turn blue and so on and so forth. Um, it would have been good if one of these little knobs, see like there's another switch on the back, get the front one, and then there's the other one on the back. Um, it would have been great to get a little knob here, something, um, if we can change the color of the lightsaber, because that would have been great. Um, you could even uh, change some of the parts and stuff in the, in the, the game too. Um, not that I need that, but you know, color changing blade would have been pretty awesome. It also would have been really cool if they can put a crystal in there. I've seen a couple of companies, or at least one company, put a, a crystal chamber in there and it looked so badass. That would have been awesome. Now, I really was gonna buy a NeoPixel version of this, and um, I'm not sure I really want to anymore. I mean, for the most part, I mean, you can see behind me over here. I mean, my sabers mostly just sit on the shelves. I'll, you know, I'll putz around with them out in the backyard and stuff, or if I'm going to uh, a toy con or, you know, something that has anything to do with Star Wars or whatever, I'll wear one on my belt, but. So I just wanted to give a quick note about the Cal Kestis lightsaber. If you have display cases like I do, the Detoff cases where you keep your collection, um, it will not fit in the case here. So you're gonna have to find uh, some other place to put it on a stand or on a wall or someplace. I don't do anything really crazy with them, so I don't know. I've got uh, I think I have four or four or five Neo Pixel sabers now, um, and this this is beautiful. I don't think I would go any further than maybe just this. The split here drives me a little nuts that, uh, you know, where you unscrew, but, uh, you know, that'll have to do. So what do you think of the new uh, Cal Kestis lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge? I think it's absolutely awesome. I think it's a great lightsaber to have and add to your collection. Um, you know, your options are this one for $159, I believe it is. Keep in mind, the um, blades are separate. These are another $50 on top of the hilt. So that's always something to keep in mind. Um, if you already have, you know, blades like me kind of laying around the house, um, then you just need to get the, the hilt for 160 bucks, really, 159. If you're not from Florida and you're not going to Florida, then you are gonna probably pick it up on, on eBay or Amazon or, you know, some kind of online shopping thing. Um, probably 250 to 350 I've seen them going for. Um, they are worth it because if you think about the time and the money you would have to go to uh, Disney World or land um, to get into the park and travel, food, you know, all that kind of stuff, just to get there and pick up a lightsaber um, is kind of probably going to be five times the cost of just ordering one online somewhere. Um, anyway, let me know what you think down below. Um, I'm so happy I grabbed this thing. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.